So our Main Street project, when we first bought the place, was covered behind trees. You couldn't even see the house from the street. So we totally revitalized the whole outside of it. We repainted it, put new front porch, new curbs, new gutters, new sidewalks, so it really stands out in the neighborhood. We wanted something a little bit unique for the Victorian, and I, I think we got it. On uh, the back of the property, we put new patio in, new landscaping, also repainted the outside. It's a nice shady spot in the uh, summertime out back, so we can put a nice little patio out there. There's a gas grill and some room for entertaining. And the same thing, it just really, really set the back of it off. And the, inside the house, the front parlor is one of the main reasons we bought the place. It just, with the old fireplace in there, it was just a really cool old room. So we restored the old fireplace, and that's the original light in there from 1920s when electricity was put into the place. We didn't really do too much in that room other than clean it up. And the front foyer, my mom did all the work on the handrail. Uh, my dad did a lot of work staining the woodwork and cleaning up in there. And just really turned out nice. It really brightened up what was a really dark, dingy area. What used to be the dining room, uh, we tore the wall out between the dining room and the kitchen and opened that up into the kitchen area. And again, just made that room a lot more bigger and a lot more functional for, for a modern family. We did a custom design cabinets to match the color paint of the house and just kind of tied that old Victorian theme through. We didn't want to put just white cabinets in there and granite countertops. We wanted to do something that paid some homage to the old house. I think that worked out pretty good. But as you can see, the kitchen was really, really nasty before. Uh, it's hard to believe anybody really cooked in there. But now you have some room for entertaining. You can do a dining room table. If you want to do it, you could do a family room situation. It just depends on what, what your tastes are. Now, the washer and dryer used to be relocated in the uh, foyer. We now switch spots with the powder room. Since that was a bigger area, it was now a first floor powder room. Instead of just a toilet shoved in a closet, which is what they had before. It was kind of nasty looking. On the other side of that was the basement stairway, which is where we ended up moving the washer and dryer to. Just a little bit more of a convenient spot, safety going down a flight of stairs. And then when you do go downstairs in the base, when we took the old oil boiler out, uh, we got rid of the dirt floors, we poured a concrete floor, we took the oil tanks out, put in a brand new high efficiency heating system with uh, air conditioning and ductwork, all been replaced. When we go upstairs, again, all my mom's hard work with the railing turned out really nice. We uh, put an authentic Moravian star at the, at the landing, so you can see it from outside when you drive by. The hallway we cleaned up, brightened all the woodwork up, and uh, turned that whole area into a nice little spot. When we get into the bedrooms, they were quite nasty as well. This is the biggest bedroom in here. Took up the carpet, refinished the floors, uh, did some decorating. We did the two closets that are in there, so they have a little more storage space. And then in the... Uh, smaller bedroom wasn't too much to do in there just some flooring but that has the really cool balcony going outside so we took the balcony put a nice little tile floor out there put a new door so you can sit out there in the morning have a cup of coffee it's a really cool little spot and get a nice little view of the neighborhood the bathroom kind of like the kitchen downstairs was very nasty we totally got at that and started over did a tub and a custom tile surround with some subway tile ceramic tile on the floor, got a nice vanity where we can get some storage space. The turret room out front, upstairs, is a really cool area, make a nice bedroom, make even a cooler office. Uh, I probably wouldn't get any work done if that were my office, I'd be too busy staring out the windows all the time. And then up into the attic we go, that was a pretty dingy little area, if we clean that all up, it'd be a really good spot to do some gaming, make a cool home office, you could use it for another bedroom, although it's a little tight to get up there, but the whole project turned out really cool. So uh, we hope you like it. This is our Main Street Project by uh, Schaefer Construction and Schaefer Investments.